Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mireya. If this is your first time here, and if it's not, thank you so much for coming back. As you guys know, if you know, June is Pride Month. Pride Month is something that just reminds us how effective these movements are and how effective um, our voices coming together can truly be against changing our history. So since it is Pride Month, I wanted to do something to kind of help us celebrate and commemorate that. Today, we're going to do that using the 24A Morphe Artist Pass palette. So first of all, she comes with a huge mirror in the front, which I totally love and appreciate that. Then we've got an array of just like colorful pastel, uh, not pastels, neon um, rainbow colors, and then a bunch of like uh, glitter eyeshadows. We've got um, shimmer options here in the center, and then our top section is shimmer and matte neutral eyeshadows, which I thought was really nice for them to include. That way it becomes a more usable palette, and it's not so much, it's not like only, um, only brights and colors, you know? You could totally do a neutral um, eyeshadow look with this and do pops of colors, or you can go all out. I love the variety of it. So I actually have not touched or used this yet, but I just... Um, over with the overall vibe, um, I'm feeling it and I'm excited. So that's what we're gonna be playing with today. So essentially what we're gonna do is a rainbow across from left to right or from right to left, however we wanna look at it, um, with the warmer tones here leading to the cooler tones over here. So I think I'm gonna start off with the cool tone side first. All right guys, so I've gone ahead and primed my eyelids. I have not set it yet because I wanna go in directly with the eyeshadows. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab, I'm gonna start off with under the sun, which is this shade right here. And I'm just gonna press that right into the inner corner area. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab our green shade, green room right here. And I'm just gonna use that right next to the yellow. And if you'll notice, I'm trying to keep most of this up on the, like above the crease. That's because this is gonna be a cut crease look. But you do want it to be as nice and blended in as possible. So go ahead and take your time. Okay, now that we've got some pigment down there, we're gonna go ahead and pick up this blue. And then I'm just gonna use that to buff it into the green. So I always want to do small little circular motions to help you blend and make sure that you get those edges nice and diffused. Okay, so moving on, now I'm just going to go ahead and pick up the shade Major Inspo right here. It's this nice purple shade. And then I'm just going to use that right on the outer edge. Okay, now moving on to the other eye, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the yellow shade under the sun again. And I'm gonna use that for this inner corner as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and pick up this shade India Woe, which is this guy right here. It's like a nice corally shade that kind of matches my nails. <laughs> and I'm gonna buff that into the yellow. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this super magenta, like pink, hot pink shade called Max Volume. And I'm gonna blend that into the orangey coral shade we just used. Hey. 
And then remembering to just go back and forth between the other shadows so that we have a nice little gradient. And it's not just like harsh lines. Okay, so I noticed that this palette doesn't have any like red eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Mama Mama Mitchell palette and I'm just gonna use the shade Mama Mama Mad. <laughs> and it's a really nice uh, true red eyeshadow. And I'm gonna use that to define the outer edge of the eye. Okay, so now that we've gone ahead and laid down the color, we're gonna go ahead and cut the crease. So I'm gonna grab some of that P. Louise base again. And grab it on a nice flat brush. This one is actually my favorite. It's the M224 from Morphe. It's like so, it's an oval flat brush and it's just perfect for cutting a crease. So then we're gonna go ahead and start from the inner corner. I'm kind of just marking where I'm gonna cut instead of just going in directly and cutting it right away. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this little kabuki brush and buff in that outer corner so it's not like so harsh. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this really beautiful shimmer called Private Oasis. I'm just gonna use this to press it on right on top. And I'm really packing this shimmer on you guys. Just like that. Ooh, she's cute. Okay, so I'm gonna grab uh, the brush that I applied the red eyeshadow on and then just buff in that edge so it doesn't look so harsh. Yay, we're coming along, you guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. All right, this is looking pretty badass, if I do say so myself. <laughs> okay, now for my under eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Okay, it's the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in the shade Whiten. And I'm actually just gonna run that along my lash line first. I can't see. Okay. All right, next I'm gonna grab this jumbo white pencil by Crown Brush, I think. Um, and I'm just gonna run that along like my lower lash line. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want, I want the shadows to show up true to color just as they did on my lid. So I just wanna give them something to adhere to. And then I'll go ahead and pick up the yellow shade and just, oh, I'm gonna need a smaller brush than this. Yeah, it's gonna need a smaller brush than that, for sure. For sure, for sure. So using a smaller brush, this is a nice little pencil brush. I'm just gonna press that right into the inner corner. And then follow it up with the same shades that we did across the entire lid. Ta-da! Okay. Okay. I like this. I like this. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye using its corresponding colors. All right, guys, I am so excited. I'm loving this. It's so, oh, this is so fun. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this shade right here called All Access. And it's just a nice pale um, shimmery eyeshadow. And I'm gonna use that for the inner eye corner. I need some coffee. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and curl these lashes and throw on some mascara. Okay, so for lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up these falsies from House of Lashes and they are in the style Noir. They are from the Faux Meeks collection. Um, I love these lashes, they're super long and wispy, which I think is gonna look super gorgeous with this look. I love how this eyelid color reflects off of the light like no matter which way I'm turning. That's so gorgeous. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm. Oh my god. This is hella popping. Yes, bitch. Yes. Give it to me. Okay. That's it for the eyes, you guys. I'm gonna just throw on some highlight and lip gloss and bam. All right, so for highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Palette and pick up this shade right here called Pink Heart. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so beautiful. It makes the skin look flawless. Oh my god, I am loving this look, you guys. So for lips, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some lip liner. This is a NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. Okay, so now that we've got them outlined, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my liquid lipstick from ColourPop in the shade Times Square. And I'm just gonna put that all over. I'm always like so self-conscious about my lips, you guys. It's ridiculous. Whatever, what can I do about it? This is who I am, right? You guys, the rainbow mess that I have in front of me right now is like, it's not funny. <laughs> it's stressing me out. All right, you guys, so this is it. This is the finished look. This is a bomb ass look if I do say so myself. Like, I love the way that this look turned out. I feel like it's hella poppin'. She's like really playful and fun and definitely very prideful. So I really hope you guys get creative out there and play around with some colors and that maybe, hopefully, this look inspires you to try on something a little bit different. Um, and if you do, please let me know. I'd love to see it. If you guys did like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do upload new videos every Friday, so if you guys wanna come hang out with me, please be sure to go ahead and hit that notification button so you don't miss out on it. So yeah, until next time, you guys, just be kind to one another, be supportive of each other, be kind to others, and respect each other. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.